In this video, we're going to continue our work with the rules of indices and look at the negative power. In the last video, we looked at the zero power. We built up the powers of 2 and we had 2 to the power of 5, that was 32. 2 to the power of 4 gave us 16. 2 to the power of 3 or 2 cubed was 8. 2 squared or 2 to the power of 2 was 4. 2 to the power of 1 gave us 2. After this, we saw that 2 to the 0 gave us 1. We were subtracting a power on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, we were dividing by the base, which is 2. We can extend this for negative powers. So subtracting 1 on the left-hand side would give us 2 to the negative 1. And on the right-hand side, I would need to divide by 2. So this is going to give me 1 divided by 2. I'm just going to write here a little 1 because then I can write the law that a to the negative m is equal to 1 over a to the positive m. So if we have a negative power, we can write it as 1 over that to the positive power. We can extend this now. 2 to the power of negative 2 is going to be 1 over 2 squared. All I'm doing is dividing this by 2. If you divide 1 half by 2, you're going to get 1 over 4, or I've just written here, 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 over 4. 2 to the negative 3 is going to give us 1 over 2 to the power of positive 3, which is going to be 1 over 8. So again, it holds with this rule. a to the negative m is equal to 1 over a to the positive m. So let's go ahead and look at using that particular rule. So here, 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of positive 1. Generally speaking, I don't need to write a 1 here. It would be perfectly fine if I gave my answer like so. 3 to the negative 2 is going to be 1 over 3 to the positive 2. a to the negative m is equal to 1 over a to the positive m. 3 squared is 9, 1 over 9. OK, this one's slightly different. We've got a fraction here. So what we've got here, and I'll just write it now, we've got 1 over 2 over 5 to the power now of positive 3. So I've got now a negative power. I can write it like so. This is equivalent to saying now that this is going to be 5 over 2 to the power of 3. So if we have a fraction and a negative power, we can invert for a fraction and make this positive. If you wanted to see that now, let's just split this up. What we've got then is 1 over, and I'm just going to write this as 2 cubed divided by 5 cubed. Now if we've got 1 over this, we could just write it now as 5 cubed over 2 cubed. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. So all I'm going to say then is 2 over 5 to the negative 3 can be written now as 5 over 2 to the positive 3. If we look at 5 to the power 3, that's 5 cubed, which is 1, 2, 5. 2 to the positive 3 gives me 8. So 1, 2, 5 over 8. OK, let's look at the next one. This one right here is going to be 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 to the power of 4. So 2 to the power of 4 is going to give me 16. 4 over 16 will simplify to 1 over 4. So all I've done is simply now written that as a simplified fraction using the negative law. If we look at the next one, we've got 3 over 4 to the negative 2. Instead of writing 3 over 4 to the negative 2, we could write this as 3 times by 4 to the positive 2. Again, see this now, 1 over 4 to the negative 2 is the same as saying 4, over two, uh, 4 to the positive 2 over 1. So, of course, this is going to give me 16. 3 times by 16 is going to give 48. OK, let's look at the next one. We've got 4 to the negative 1. 4 to the negative 1 is 1 over 4. And we're going to multiply this by 1 over 3 squared. 1 over 3 squared is 9. So this is going to give us 1 over 36. So all I've done is simply employed the rule. a to the negative m is 1 over a to the m. And then simplified. 
Okay, the next one, we can write this as 5 times by 3 to the positive 2. 5 times by 3 to a positive 2 is 5 times by 9. 5 times by 9 is going to give us 45. So 1 over 3 to the negative 2 is the same as writing. So let's just write this here. 1 over 3 to the negative 2 is the same as writing 3 to the positive 2. As it's 1 over 1 over... So 1 over 1 over 3 to the 2. Which, of course, now if we divided the 3 squared or 3 to the power 2 would be in the numerator. Okay, let's try some more. We're asked to write each of the following with a positive index. So m to the negative 1. Well, m to the negative 1 can be written as 1 over m to the positive power of 1. So we've now written this with a positive index. If you want, you can just write it as 1 over m. We're trying to get rid of a negative here. What we've got here is 3m to the negative 2. It's not 3m all to the negative 2. It's just that part. So what we'd have is 3 multiplied by 1 over m squared, which we could, of course, write as 3 over m squared. So now we've got a positive index. OK, this one, again, if it's 1 over m to the negative 3, we can simply write that this is going to be 4 times m to the positive 3. And, of course, we can simplify that by writing 4 m to the positive 3. The next one, 5m to the negative 4. So this is simply saying this is 5 times by 1 over m to the 4. Don't get drawn into writing this as 1 over 5m. The 5 doesn't have a negative power. So we could simply write this now as 5 over m to the power of positive 4. So again, we've got a positive index. 2m cubed over n squared to the negative 3. So I'm going to simply write this is going to be n squared over 2m cubed. And we're going to raise this now to the positive power of 3. We see now that a to the power of m raised to the power of n in a previous video is a to the power of m multiplied by n. So n squared cubed is going to give me n to the power of 2 times by 3, which is 6. Then I'm going to get 2 to the power of 3. Remember, there's a little 1 here, so it's not 3 times 2, it's 3 times the index. So that's going to be 2 cubed, which is 8. Then we're going to have m to the power of 3 times by 3, so we're going to have m to the power of 9. So that's my final answer, n to the power of 6, divided by 8m to the power of 9. So a slightly more challenging one at the end, but essentially all we need to do is abide by the law that if we have now a to the negative m, it can be written as 1 over a to the m.